To commemorate the founding of New Orleans in 1718, WYES presents this tricentennial moment in celebration of our city's past and present. In the 1850s, New Orleans was suffering from a crippling series of yellow fever epidemics that eventually led to over 29,000 fatalities. Immigrants, city residents, people involved with trade through the port, anyone newly exposed to the mosquito incubator swamp that was New Orleans at the time was vulnerable, hence the name Stranger's Disease. 1853 was the worst year. In that summer, nearly 8,000 people perished. Most of these victims were Irish immigrants, but it also spread throughout the city among other ethnic groups. On August 20th, 230 deaths were recorded on that day alone. Many of these victims were cared for at Charity Hospital. In 1867, Blessed Francis Xavier Silos, the Bavarian-born pastor of St. Mary's Assumption Church, succumbed to the disease. Yellow fever was also referred to as Bronze John, Yellow Jack, or the Saffron Scourge, due to subsequent damage to the liver. It was thought that fetid water found in the cisterns was the cause of the illness. In an effort to suppress common concerns about the water quality at the time, a campaign for clean cisterns was launched, supplemented by lapel pins that stated, my cisterns are all right, how are yours? Conducting their research in Cuba, Dr. Walter Reed and his team were finally able to confirm the theory of the mosquito as the carrier of the disease. 1905 was the last yellow fever outbreak in New Orleans. Efforts by the city to maintain control of mosquitoes continue to this day. WYS's New Orleans Tricentennial Moments are brought to you by the Miro Foundation and presented in association with the historic New Orleans Collection.